Thanks, Don. Well, tis the season, the party season, that is, and no party is bigger than the Winterfest celebration. From the white party to the black tie ball, all ending with the world's most watched boat parade. Of course, I'm talking about the seminal Hard Rock Winterfest boat parade, coming soon down the intracoastal. Just Winterfest alone could book up your holiday social calendar. So here to tell us about all the events and how we can get involved is white party chair Elisa Lovett and ball chair Susan Renison. Ladies, welcome to the show. Now, these two are the party. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Well, let's begin with the first. We'll go in kind of an order and the white party. Uh, the Winterfest White Party is the kickoff for the Winterfest celebrations. Um, it's the White Part. It's the Gray Robinson Winterfest White Party hosted by the Marriott Harbor Beach. Uh -huh. uh, we have some great restaurants as far as Timpano, Anthony's Runway 84, and some other tasty bites from around the Fort Lauderdale area. And it's a great kind of way you sort of go when you sort of sip and taste and walk and stroll, and then there's all kinds of entertainment surprises, right? Yeah, we have some great entertainment along with um, some great bars featured by Moet Ice. That's terrific. I mean, it's always one of those parties that kind of really puts you in the mood. Everybody does wear white or shades of, so tell everybody to, you know, get out the rule book, get the memo, and dress up and meet us out there. So the other thing that we have to tell people is that this white party is kind of exclusive, so they need to get on board, right? Yes, this party is actually a thank you to all of our sponsors um, that do events throughout the Winterfest boat parade. Um, so if you are looking to um, be a sponsor, this is an exclusive event, um, and you will be well more than rewarded. welcome and rewarded at this wonderful event. And now while we're telling you to wear your white, we should mention that you get to taste some Simply Naked wine. And Absolute's going to be there as well, right? Exactly. All right. So this is a perfect time to sip and see. And that leads us to if you're on board, you're a sponsor, you have a boat in the parade, and even if you don't but you want to join the festivities, the Seminole Hard Rock is hosting the Winterfest Black Tie Ball again, right? Every year for the past eight years. And, and it's it, a great party. Oh, it just continues to get bigger and better every year. And what can we expect there? Well, I have an exclusive announcement today, if that's okay. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, we just found out that the cast of Wicked, the two leads from Broadway, wow, are going to be performing at the Black Tie Ball Galinda this year. Galinda and Elphaba? Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Um, we're going to try to uh, add a lot of touches from the musical Wicked mm -hmm. into the production of the event itself. Okay. Uh, with centerpieces and I all love kinds it. of decor. And uh, I my, can't tell you how excited I am about having that cast. That's my current favorite. And isn't too. that great? So you get Broadway, you get Moet and Chandon, you get Absolute Vodka. Again, is coming on board, Estancia, and there are Tequila, so, yeah. Evian, Tequila. And so many sponsors in the community loaning things. Things to the live and the silent auctions. We've got JM Lexus coming in with, with a car. With a brand new car, yes. The, uh, what, what's the 350 <laughs> SEC. Yeah, Very easy. And so beautiful. And uh, that's one of the live auction items that and, somebody buys every year. And Carl's Jewelers wow. is also on the board for Winterfest, so they're going to offer something for us yes, to bid on? Yes, Luke Mormon provides something every year that's just a signature item that's really wonderful. Uh, we've got uh, diamonds and pooches. We're doing a trip this year, a, a, a trip to a vineyard that um, Southern Wine and Spirits is, is providing. That's terrific. And the Hard Rock is also bringing back the um, Hard Rock Calling event in London. So, mm, great, wow. great live prizes I'll tell as you, well as. If you've ever dreamed of going to a real ball or something, this is the one to do. You this is always it. do such a great event. It's black tie and gowns and <laughs> champagne and ama amazing food. So, um, I mean, forget trying to throw a holiday year. party for your yeah, company exactly. and corporation. Do it there by a table. Now, ladies, can we go onto the website and get all this information and, and book our tickets Absolutely. and stuff? Absolutely. Yes, you can. Winterfest okay. Boat Parade. All right. And if you, if you had to tell everybody out there one thing that they better start getting ready to do now in order to take full advantage of Winterfest, what would it be? Tickets, boat, what should they be getting ready at this point? You know, wouldn't it be so nice if more people had boats in the parade? Even the smaller ones, it is so much fun to be part of that. And, uh, it, you know, being a sponsor of the parade, it's such a community event. It's sure. a full involvement, immersion into the community with the Riverside Hotel and so many other amazing sponsors that we have that are all on board with this one parade where right. we all become one big family. Not so, to mention being a moving, lit up billboard exactly. right down the heart of Fort Lauderdale. Exactly. Well, you can't make, we couldn't have made that it any easier any for them, right? <laughs> well, thanks so much. We'll see you at the party. You can find all the information on events mentioned in the show by logging on over the Winterfest website. And you can also watch the parade streaming live courtesy of your Xfinity Internet service.
Thanks, Don. Well, as the lights are illuminating Trade Winds Park and Las Olas Boulevard, there will be a sea of lights brightening up the Intracoastal during the Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. Musical memories is this year's theme, and we can only imagine what kind of creative ideas are going to be brought to the vessels, which are going to make their way down the New River into the Intracoastal and north to Lake Santa Barbara in Pompano Beach. Don Reed and John Haley of Winterfest are here to tell us about all the details for this year's parade. So boaters out there, get ready. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're in the big countdown, and it's time for all of our sea captains to kind of get their vessels in ship shape, right? So tell yeah. us what they need to know. Yeah, well, we've got some great boats this year. We've got, uh, of course, we're going to lead off the parade with the fireworks barge sponsored by Publix. We've got the Grand Marshal boat, which is the Floridian Princess, which would be powered by Ford. We've nice. got the WSVN Channel 7 boat, mm -hmm. which is a 130-foot long um, yacht. We've got uh, Anthony's Coal-Fired Pizza, which is going to sponsor... The summer wind, which will have Ron and Paul from 105.9 on it. And they always do a really fun boat with a really nice theme, yeah? Yes, One yeah, they, they love it. To. And they love it. They love it every year. And, okay. um, the, you know, the parade just gets better and better every year. We're going to have an American bandstand barge, which will have a live, uh, live band playing with about 20 or 30 dancers, all dressed to a certain era. We'll have uh, the Lady Windridge, which is a 170 foot yacht which will be in parades that be uh, sponsored by uh, Team National. Okay. We've got, again, um, we'll have the Galleria Mall uh, sponsoring a, the, the Caprice, which will have the uh, giant reindeer that you see at the entrance of the Galleria Mall every year oh, during yeah, Christmas, yeah. Okay. a 16-foot high reindeer. We'll have uh, the classic boats, about a half a dozen classic boats this year. The uh, Honey Fitz, which used to be JFK's presidential yacht. Yeah, that's right. We have the Americas and four other uh, classic yachts. So that's a very that's special kind of addition. Cool. That's new, right? Yes, that's All a right. very special addition to the parade this year. Uh, we will have the um, a special boat. A very special boat is the Lynx, which is a 122 foot long tall ship. We've never had a tall ship in the parade before. All right. It's uh, 122 feet in length and 96 feet in height, and uh, it's challenging for us to start. Forget for docking that boat in the new river, but we'll, 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 we'll deal with it. But and you always be a, work it out. It'll be a great addition to the parade. And now, is that a private person coming in with that big boat? Are we recruiting some uh, some kind of new blood, if you will, sea blood, to our parade? Yes, yes. They're they're from out of town, and uh, wow. we can, we persuaded them to bring the boat down. And um, that's kudos to you sure. guys, Don, because this is the world's most watched boat parade. And we know that we've been getting kind of statewide and national acclaim. So people are hearing about it, and now they're starting to join us. Is that kind of what's going on? Absolutely. I mean, after last year with Theodore coming all the way from Nova Scotia, I think we've set the, the standard where from around the globe they want to be here that's and get terrific. the exposure. Wow. We have Absolute. Um, Absolute is backed by popular demand. So there'll be a giant floating Absolute bottle on the river uh -huh. on a 142 on foot. <laughs> Yeah, kind so. of getting us into the holiday spirit, Absolutely. right? <laughs> That's terrific. And so after you have um, the show boats, you got the private boats, a little historical for those people who are really boat savvy and want to see some of those other vessels you were talking about. Then um, Hair Club for Men, that's kind of a Las Olas uh, and, and Pompano Deerfield Beach based company. They're coming on board. They're new yes, to us, aren't be, they? They'll be in the um, Biscayne Lady, okay. which is a, it's got a 45 foot width boat, which is a special large pontoon type boat, 110 feet in length. and. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's a great boat having the parade. And see, now you get to accompany all these large vessels of all different shapes and sizes as a private boat owner. I mean, it may even be something like a 19-foot center console or something like that. Bring out your Mako, your contenders. What do I need to do if I'm just a small, kind of medium-sized fishing boat owner to join the parade? You know, just get clever in decorating. Uh, it's very easy to, to enter. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how easy it is. It's just $35 entry fee. Awesome. Go online, winterfestparade.com, get the application online, fill it out, mm -hmm. send it to us. And um, it's that easy. You, you'll that uh, simple. Just go decorate, get your decorations together. You can. And while I love that it's sort of a competition because we have the People's Choice Awards, I mean, I've, I know friends who've called people who've been in the boat parade for years and said, hey, I got a vessel. I'm thinking of bringing the family out. What do I do to decorate? The captains are always very helpful. To one another about where to get the supplies and stuff like that. 
Right. We've got actually got decorating tips online okay, as well. Okay. So if, if anybody's uh, got any questions as far as decorating, they can go online and um, or right. they can call us, call us at the office, and we'll help them out as much as we can. And so, and so if you want to make it as easy as possible and for it them is, to decorate. Right. It and, really is. And you don't. So you don't want to set sail on a boat. Let's say there's so many different places that you can see the parade. We know for those who can't actually make it out to the east side of Fort Lauderdale that night for whatever reason, we'll be streaming it live on Xfinity yeah. On Demand right from the Winterfest homepage, but other than that, I mean, you've got things from VIP to family. Let's talk about the options for viewing. Excellent. Well, we have our grandstand viewing area presented by Perrier, so that's about 6,000 people. Every seat is reserved and assigned, nice. so the tickets are $22 for adults and 18 for children, and it's free. Um, the Chris Everett Children's Hospital has a family fun zone, so all the activities are free. And that's the thing. With the $22, it really is a day-long event, so if you yeah. come early, you know, parking is taken care of. You don't have to worry about bridge closures or anything, and there's stuff to keep the kids occupied from kind of really the afternoon all through the evening. Absolutely. We open at 3.30, and the parade gets to that area around 7.30, so we've got live stage entertainment. We have the Gator Boys, so live alligator wrestling comes to Birch State Park. I so love it. We're excited about that, something, a new addition. And, um, you know, JM Lexus will be out there displaying cars. You can touch and feel a new car. We've got a lot of our oh, sponsors fun. supporting it and free mm -hmm. um, things to, to give away. Give yeah. away and Beer right. and wine and all now that good stuff. Now, if I'm not going to grandstand it, there's a couple of other options, and one of them that I think is really interesting is you can kind of bring a boat out onto the water, drop a anchor, and like kind of party there. Absolutely. They 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 say that there's about 5,000 spectator craft, and if you've ever been on a boat, you'll see that all the spe all the boats anchored up early to watch the parade. So there's a lot of open space. We have that all on our website where you can see where an anchor zone and and times to be there and whatnot. Now I'm coming from out of town or maybe a little too far north, West Palm Beach. You know, Comcast has uh, got customers there that are excited. They're going to make it kind of a weekend long adventure and stay at the beautiful Riverside Hotel, and that's kind of a two in one sort of deal, right? Absolutely. That's our host hotel, so that's where we film from, and our VIP area takes place there. So they've got rooms available, and there's a variety of parties that happen at the Riverside as well. All right. I think the best thing for everybody to do is just take advantage of the fact that years of, of sweat, equity, and experience have come together onto the website, and it really is as easy as pie. And they can always call. You guys have people manning phones to answer questions, right? right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And like us on Facebook, because we put up specials, there's a lot of social media things going on with our partners, so okay. opportunities to win spots on boats or win tickets to different things. That's so terrific. Well, it's a month-long event, and the countdown has started. Thanks, you guys. Experiencing the parade along the New River is a one-of-a-kind experience. But if you can't make it, remember you can watch streaming live at winterfestparade.com, courtesy of your Xfinity Internet. Hello, my name is Arturo Siganolfi. I'm the director of mixology and spirits education for Southern Wine and Spirits of Florida. I'm here today at the lovely Timpano restaurant, downtown Fort Lauderdale. You'll need a few bar tools, Boston shaker, Hawthorne strainer, little measuring cup, and a handy lemon press. First thing we're going to do is use an ounce of simple syrup. You can make it at home. It's equal parts water and sugar. We're going to put a half ounce of our fresh lemon juice. Make sure your lemons are room temperature so you get a little bit more juice out of them. We're going to use an ounce and a half of absolute vodka. Put some ice in our shaker. Give it a good shake. Top it off with a little champagne or sparkling wine. We're using a nice uh, Mianetto Prosecco here. And then for our garnish, we're going to use some dry cranberries. Looking for more savory cocktails to spruce up your next holiday party? Check them out right here in the Get Local section under How To. Hello, my name is Arturo Siganolfi. I'm the director of mixology and spirits education for Southern Wine and Spirits of Florida. I'm here today at the lovely Timpano restaurant, downtown Fort Lauderdale. We'll need a few bar tools, 
Boston shaker, Hawthorne strainer, a little measuring cup, and a handy lemon press. First thing we're going to use is simple syrup. You can make it at home. It's equal parts water and sugar. We're going to use an ounce of that. We're going to use an ounce of our heavy cream. We're going to use a half ounce of lemon fresh lemon juice for our spirit absolute mandarin. We like to use absolute for our martinis because the flavors are 80 proof and they contain no sugar. Always, always use nice fresh ice. Give it a real good shake. That should do it. Always have a chilled martini glass. For our garnish, we're going to use pumpkin pie spice. And we have some fall leaves. Looking for more savory cocktails to spruce up your next holiday party? Check them out right here in the Get Local section under How To. Hello, my name is Arturo Siganolfi. I'm the Director of Mixology and Spirits Education for Southern Wine and Spirits of Florida. I'm here today at the lovely Timpano Restaurant, downtown Fort Lauderdale. I'm going to show you the bar tools you'll need to make the cocktail at home. We need a Boston shaker set and a little measuring cup and a strainer. So it's real simple to make. Our first ingredient is white cream de cocoa, which we're going to use a half ounce. Our second ingredient cream de cassis. We'll use a half ounce of that as well. Use a little heavy cream, three quarters of an ounce of that. And an ounce and a half of absolute raspberry. I like using absolute flavors because they 80 proof, no sugar added, and they stand up to all the other ingredients. We're going to put some ice in our shaker. Give it a good seal. And the most important thing is oh, we're going to give it a good shake. And then we always want to have our martini glasses nice and cold for our guests. For our garnish, we're going to use cinnamon sugar and a nice fresh mint leaf. And there's your drink. Looking for more savory cocktails to spruce up your next holiday party? Check them out right here in the Get Local section under How To. Hello, my name is Arturo Siganolfi. I'm the Director of Mixology and Spirits Education for Southern Wine and Spirits of Florida. I'm here today at the lovely Timpano Restaurant, downtown Fort Lauderdale. We'll need a few bar tools, a Boston shaker set, a measuring cup. Nice to have one of these handy little line presses and a strainer. We're going to use some white grape juice in lieu of cranberry juice. We're going to use Combier, which is a triple sec from the Loire Valley. We're going to use absolute citron, and we just want a hint of lime juice. What we need to do is put in some ice in our shaker, make a tight seal, give it a good shake. We always want to have our glass nice and chilled. And for our garnish, nice fresh orange peel. Looking for more savory cocktails to spruce up your next holiday party? Check them out right here in the Get Local section under How To.